So in the third question of this first exercise, we have been given a multiplication product and in this product we can see the letter A. So we'll have to keep this thing in mind that this letter A represents a digit. So basically we'll have to find the value of this letter and we'll also have to give reasons for the steps involved. Now let us observe the multiplication in the ones column where we see that A times A gives us A. Now let us consider all the digits for which this combination is possible. Now if we consider the value of A to be 0, the whole product results in 0 which is not possible because the answer here is not 0. Hence this condition is ruled out. Let us consider the value of A to be 1. So we know that 1 times 1 would again result in 1. But if we consider this condition, we'll have 11 times 1 and we'll get 11, which we can clearly see is not possible because we have a 9 at the tens place. Hence, this condition is also ruled out. Let us consider the next condition where the value of A, if we assume it to be 5. Now, with this assumption, we get 15 times 5, but we know 15 times 5 is 75, which clearly cannot be the condition as we see a 9 here at the tens place and not 7. Let us now, so basically this condition is also ruled out. Let us now move on to the next condition where we consider the value of A to be 6. Now if the value of A is 6, we will have 16 times 6 and the result of this product would be 96 where we see that we definitely have this 9 here at the tens place. Hence if we observe the product which we have got here. So basically the blue color digits represents the value of A and the red color 3 here represents the carry. Hence, to summarize the result of this question, we observe that the value of A is 6 and this is how this question, that is question number 3 of this exercise can be answered. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.